were rumors uh, among agents who were friendly that Hoover might have some black blood because of his short cropped hair. Some agents just flat out said, I think he's part black. And that takes a lot of courage because you never know who's listening. You know, some submarine in the office would send a letter out to Hoover. And the agents also think you're part black. You're gone. Hey, world. It's your girl, Sunnyside55. And I am back today with another great topic. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and drop a comment, okay? Today's topic is J. Edgar Hoover. And for those who don't know about J. Edgar Hoover, let me give you a little bit of history on J. Edgar Hoover. He was an FBI director for 48 years. He worked relentlessly, relentlessly to destroy blacks. He was known for digging up dirt on presidents, civil rights leaders, you know, on almost anyone. He would spy and harass. And he was known to keep files and files and files, you know, on people who had not even committed crimes. He was also rumored to be a closet homosexual and to be carrying on an affair with Clyde Tolson, which was his longtime roommate, quote unquote, and also his co-worker. Um, they were also be known to show affection publicly as well as dress alike um, on many occasions. Hoover had an obsession for blacks that, you know, dated back to the 1920s. He targeted, you know, people like Marcus Garvey and the United Negro Improvement Association, um, which numbered in the hundreds of thousands. He also sabotaged the Black Star Line, which uh, was to transport. It was used to transport blacks back to Africa. And he sabotaged this by throwing foreign matter into the fuel line. You know, kind of like when someone um, put sugar in someone's tank. And according to an historian, Theodore Cornweevil, um, he was the one that was responsible for Marcus Garvey deportation back to Jamaica. Um, Hoover's true colors showed in the 1950s. He verbally attacked NAACP and other civil rights groups while praising white citizens council groups. OK, he also launched the very infamous uh, FBI COINTELPRO, which was counterintelligence program. And this program um, is where leaders of groups such as the Black Panthers were gunned down with FBI involvement. Okay. Hoover also had a burning desire uh, for Martin Luther King's demise. There would be illegal break-ins at the Southern Christian Leadership Conference as well as illegal wire tappings. Okay. Um, many also believed that... Um, when MLK was assassinated, that Hoover was directly involved. But one of Hoover's favorite quotes that kind of, you know, puzzles me is that um, his quote was, we must never forget our history. Well, he did not remember his because J. Edgar Hoover was a black man. That was his darkest secret. Um, he was a black man. And he was passing for white. Many said this is the reason why he had a obsession in destroying um, blacks was because of his own past. Okay. Uh, this secret was exposed by Miss Millie B McGee. And she was told by her grandfather at nine years old. 